You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want to talk about our full lips. Y'all don't want to say it's uh, beauty on us. But let some Angelina Jolie or one of these new types or something get these lips and oh, it's so sexy. When we had the bubble, bubble lips, it was just bubble, but bubblicious lips. But now y'all get the Botox, y'all get y'all get uh, all this type of surgery and you're looking crazy like Joan Rivers because you want to be me at the end of the day. You want to be my beautiful sisters and, and y'all want to be us. But it's all good. I got love for everybody. You know what I mean? Just the truth hurts. The truth really hurts. Like, you get like a 20 on your test or something like that and you realize you ain't graduating school. That's reality. The truth hurts. <laughs> that wasn't my case though. You know what I mean? Don't let, don't, don't let the street talk fool you. Because on the low, I'm a genius. <laughs> Big things going on. But anyway, I mean... When it comes to the, this color of the skin stuff and all these guys these days talking about, oh yeah, oh the white girl is in right now. This is a, come on, man. You sound like a clown. That's what you sound like. You sound like a you sound like you sound like a white supremacist and you black. You sound like a Uncle Tom. That's what you sound like. How are you going to support white supremacy to the point that you down your own sisters, your own brothers and sisters. I don't see no Mexicans doing that. I don't see no Puerto Ricans doing that. I don't see white people doing that. I don't see Asians doing that. I don't see Indians doing that. I don't see, I don't even see Caribbeans doing that. I don't see nobody doing that except for this black American slave. This black American that's still enslaved and, and slavery and the slavery mentality and most of them is in and, and most of it happens in the south what's going on man what's going on like my like like my fam sk song what's going on you know what i mean get out of that mentality all right get that mentality out of your head the black woman is a beautiful queen that deserves to be celebrated all times and those beautiful queens, they come in all shapes and sizes and all colors, all shades. So, love your black women. I love my black women. They unbelievable. They do so much. They hold down the crib. They hold down the cooking. Their food is unbelievable. And then they'll make some type of remedy, some type of medicine to, that uh, just take care of your body and nourish your body. they taking care of the kids. And at the same time, holding down a job and having multiple other talents at the same time. How do y'all do it? And then, the, and then have the looks that y'all have, the body, the whole not. I know I'm looking crazy right now. I'm. It's like it's four in the morning. I'm just ranting right now. All right, I'm ranting right now at four in the morning. All right, I'm in my my closet room that I that I made. It's all right. Still working on it, but you know, I just wanted to just let y'all black women know that we love you. There's still a lot of black men out there that love you. AP One in the Billion loves you. <laughs> Kevin Durant loves you. I mean, come on. Look at look, look, LeBron James. He just married him a beautiful black queen. You know what I mean? It's still, it's still some, a lot of, there's actually a lot of real brothers out there. You know what I mean? So, hey, keep searching, keep your faith, and keep focus on, on Christ. When you stay focused on Christ, everything else is going to fall into place, all right? I'm AP, one in a billion, and I'm sleepy, so I'm out.